Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, no matter who you are, I think that deep down inside, we all have this longing to break out of this monotonous nine to five grind and have more time to do the things we enjoy, explore our passions and be our own boss. I think that we all have this longing for more. We all dream of the freedom, the discovery, and the growth that comes from taking a chance to pursue your own path in life. However, although it's a dream held by many, it's pursued by few. Most people dream of taking a chance in life, but very few people actually take the action to turn it into their reality. However, I can say, I can boldly say that I am one of the few people that has taken the action to pursue something more in life because about a year ago this month, I told my boss, I quit. I quit my job about a year ago, and this past year has been one of the most educational years of my life. I have learned so much from the experience of being self-employed and trying to make it on my own. And in this video, I want to share the unglamorous reality of what it means to quit your job and pursue your own path because it's a lot different than how most people describe it. It's a lot different than how you might imagine it. And so I'm going to share four lessons, four big lessons I have learned this past year that have come from this experience of quitting my job and pursuing my own path. And the first lesson is that it's extremely hard to make it on your own. After a year of this experience of trying to make it on my own, I can confidently say that the path of quitting your job and trying to make it on your own isn't for most people. Because once you leave that stable job with a paycheck, you quickly see the beauty of having a job. Because when you have a job, you have a predictable paycheck, set work schedule, a defined role. Depending on your job, you might have benefits like health care, a 401k plan, sick days, and paid time off, and your employer takes out your taxes. Although jobs might suck, there are a lot of benefits to being an employee to a company that we often take for granted. And if you're thinking about quitting your job to pursue your own path, you should know that things will become a lot harder. I mean, for me personally, I never know what I'm going to make. I work all the time. I don't know what I'm doing 99% of the time. My health care costs six times more than when I had a job. If I want a day off or I'm sick, I work harder or face the consequences. And I have to hire an accountant to help me with taxes. When you try to make it on your own, things become a lot more complex. Trust me, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I am making half of what I was making at my past job, and I have two, three, four, five, six times more things to think about. And when you decide to quit your job and pursue your own path, you're voluntarily choosing to make things harder than they need to be. After experiencing the difficulties of this path for the past year, I can confidently say that most people are probably better off as an employee. Most people will probably be a lot happier with a stable job and all the security and benefits that it provides. You have to be a little bit crazy to pursue this path because you're voluntarily choosing to make things a lot harder than they need to be. There's pros and cons to both. And the second lesson that I've learned this past year is you enter a world of uncertainty. Now, I have a few friends that have also quit their jobs and are trying to make it on their own, but in different ways. As you know, I'm the internet entertainer, but I know someone that's freelancing. I know someone else that's starting their own business. And although we're pursuing these different paths, whenever we get together and we talk about the lifestyle of trying to make it on your own or becoming this entrepreneur, we all have one thing in common, and that's the uncertainty of this path. Now, I believe that whatever path you choose to follow in life, you will never have complete certainty. However, with these benefits that I mentioned of being an employee of a company, it comes with a lot of certainty. You have the ability to plan out your life more and do things like plan to buy a home or know the path moving forward in your career or just generally think in the future. You have a decent amount of certainty in your life, whereas when you decide to pursue your own path in life, you enter 
this world of uncertainty where you can't think too far in the future and you have to put certain life moves on hold. Your career path is unknown and generally the future is unknown. When you choose to try to make it on your own, you're choosing to enter and you're choosing to live in this world of uncertainty where you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what the future was gonna look like. I mean, in this past year, I haven't had the ability to think more than three months in the future because I have no idea what my life will look like in three months, nonetheless a year. And it's a scary world to live in. It's hard to live with this much uncertainty. And if you think too much into it, you'll have a mental breakdown. And it doesn't matter if you're trying to be a YouTuber or if you're trying to start your own business or if you're trying to be a freelancer. Everyone that I've spoken to that pursues this path talks so much about the uncertainty of it. And after you live your life with so much uncertainty, it just seems crazy to voluntarily choose to live with this amount of uncertainty. I mean, most people wouldn't be able to handle and stay sane in this amount of its uncertainty. And if you choose to pursue a path of trying to make it on your own, know that you might have more freedom and you might have more time, but it's hard to enjoy it when you're faced with so much uncertainty in life. It's a very bizarre world to live in. And the third lesson that I've learned this past year is your work becomes your life. If you decide to quit your job and pursue your own path in life, in order to succeed, or just in order to have a fighting chance of succeeding, I think there has to be this component of obsession. You can't come in with the mindset of, I'm just gonna try this out and see what happens because if you come in with that mindset, you won't be able to push through all the challenges and all the difficulties that you encounter. Instead, you have to come in with the mindset, if you wanna have a fighting chance, a 1% chance of succeeding, you have to come in with the mindset of, this cannot fail, this has to work. When you're trying to build your own thing, the only way it'll work, I believe, is when you become obsessed with it. You can't treat it like a job where you end work at five, work 40 hours a week, and have weekends off. But you really have to hustle and put in the work because the only way it's gonna work is if you make it work. And you have to be extremely ambitious and extremely motivated even when you're seeing no results. And what happens when you live your life this way for so long is that your life and your work become intertwined. And it's no longer what you do, but it's who you are. And it sounds cool to think that you're following your passion and you're doing what you love, but this mindset and this lifestyle comes with a lot of sacrifices. It's not as glamorous as you might think because you often have to work on weekends. You can't always come to social events and you can get overwhelmed by all the uncertainty of it. When you choose to try to make it on your own, your work and your life are no longer separate, but your work just becomes this extension of who you are. And you have to be extremely motivated and put in a lot of effort in order to have a fighting chance of building it into something. And you could put in 120% every single day and it still might not work out, but at least you're not gonna live this life of what ifs. And this lifestyle comes with a lot of sacrifices and depending who you are, these sacrifices might not be worth it. And the final lesson that I have learned this past year is that this uncertain path is 100% worth it. As I've explained in this video, when you quit your job and decide to pursue your own path, you're met with a life of unnecessary challenges, uncertainty, and sacrifice. And so the question about this path is why would anybody voluntarily choose to put themselves through this? Why would anybody voluntarily choose to bring all these unnecessary hardships on themselves and make their life more difficult than it needs to be? Well, what I have learned in this past year is that it's because you become a stronger, bolder person. 
Despite all the challenges of this experience, this past year has been one of the most personal growth years of my life. I have been challenged in ways I have never been challenged. I have learned things that I couldn't have learned if I hadn't put myself in this sink or swim situation. And the further I get in this experience, the less I care if I'm gonna succeed or if I'm gonna fail, but the more I'm focused on the journey. If there is one thing that this uncertain path teaches you, it is how to operate in the present, how to stop worrying about the future and fully immerse yourself in the present moment. And it makes you feel truly alive because even though it is extremely challenging, you know that you're living life on your terms. And in life, we shouldn't always embrace the easy and safe route, but we should do things that challenge us, that put us outside of our comfort zone and put us in these sink or swim situations because these uncertain moments are the moments when you discover who you are and what you're made of. And regardless of how much it hurts in the moment, and regardless of whether you fail or succeed, when it's all said and done, if you gave it a shot, you don't have to live this life of what ifs. And because you chose this path, you come out a stronger and a bolder person. And so if you're deciding, if you're thinking about quitting your job and pursuing your own path, know that it is not an easy path. And there's a lot of pros and cons to consider, but this path in my experience has been worth it. It hasn't been easy, but it has been worth it. And with that, muchas gracias. Que tengo un buen día. Video 129. No vemos, chico.